First, if you are using Windows 10, you will need to disable the automatic driver update. There are several methods to disable it. The first method, you can access Advanced System Properties. Click on Hardware tab and click Device Installation Settings. Click No and Save Changes. Another method is by using DDU, also known as Display Driver Uninstaller. Click on Options and then enable this one. Restart to take effect. After that, you have to update your entire laptop system. I'm using a third party app called IOBit Driver Booster. These app can update your entire laptop system, excluding the external graphics card. You have to update everything, like wireless network adapter and PCIe controller, etc. This is how it looks like after everything is updated. After that, you can continue to assemble the eGPU. If you have NVIDIA graphics card, like GTX 750 Ti or 950 or 1050 Ti you will need a 75 watt power supply but there is a problem the white cable adapter from EXP GDC cannot give a stable 75 watt you will need the 8 pins PCIe power cable directly to the eGPU but a good power supply will have 8 pins PCIe with a total of 8 strands of cable. This means the 8 pins PCIe can supply a stable 150 watts constantly. On the other hand, the cheap power supply only have 6 strands of PCIe cables with the additional of 2 extension cables. This means the cheap PCIe can only give about 75 watts. However, it is barely enough to supply the 75 watts GPU. Now, you will need to jump start the power supply. First, you need a paper clip and a masking tape. This time, I need to test, jump start my power supply. Instead of using this, the white cable adapter from EXP GDC, you need to plug the PCIe directly to the eGPU because apparently the white adapter cannot give a constant 75 watts. For some reason, the power supply will not start if I try to jump start the switch. This time, I tried to detach the two pins, which means only six pins of PCIe are plugged. Theoretically, there will be only 75 watts to the eGPU power input.
apparently, to jumpstart this way, can be accepted by the eGPU. Now, I need to try to jumpstart the setup with a graphics card inserted to the eGPU. In theory, the 75 watts graphics card should be running immediately. If your laptop cannot detect the eGPU, there is a workaround by adding a thin piece of masking tape to the specific piece of pins. You can check in description of this video below for the method of this workaround. This is a good example of the portable power supply for 75 watts graphics card. This is how to use it for the GTX 1650. Plug the 8 pins PCIe directly to the eGPU. The other tool is by using one of these 24 pins power connector to the 8 pins PCIe adapter. Thank you for watching, and see you next time, in another video.